Hey gang, today we're going to do a Skinnerd style mini solo over progression in the key of A minor. In a later lesson, I'll show you how you can do all sorts of things with it, but today we're going to keep it real simple, keep it pure rock and roll, and it'll be a lot of fun. All right, so here comes the demo, and then after that, we'll do the lesson. Okay, gang, let's go over this in some detail. First things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description below. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. All right, let's go over the chords first, and then we will go over the solo. Slow-mo, and then we'll do it line by line. Okay, chords first are A minor, C, G, D, F, G, minor. Okay, so we're starting with A minor, we're ending with A minor. We're going to play most of this out of A minor pentatonic. Okay, let me play the whole thing now slow-mo and then we'll break it down. I'm going to start out third string seventh fret, bending that up a whole step whilst holding the second string on the eighth fret. Here we go. Let's go over it line by line now, relying a bit on the tab. All of this is really an A minor pentatonic, so it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so the first line is this. And that takes us through the whole A minor to C, G, to D. Okay, so we're going to start out with this little thing here. This little bend is pretty typical in rock. You hear that a lot. And that's basically on the third string we're holding down the seventh right here and bending that a whole step while we hold down the eighth fret on the second string and just kind of letting that ring out and, and then hitting it again when it's up and then landing on this A which is the seventh fret fourth string as soon as we hit that A minor so those are pickup notes Okay, and then we just play this to get up to the C. So we're going from a root, this A on the fourth string, seventh fret, root of A minor, to a root of the C, third string, fifth fret. Okay, next line is this, or the next part is this. So again, ending on this D over the G chord. Now a D is the fifth of G. That's in a G triad, you see. So that, that D note right there is a very strong note. There's a G triad right there. 
So we're playing that D. Okay, so now at this point we play and we end up again on the fourth string seventh fret, which is part of a D chord, you see. It's the fifth of a D. It's an A note. It's a note in an A chord, or in a D chord. So we're playing, we're ending all on chord tones, and that's one of the reasons why it sounds pretty strong. Even though I improvised this, I was clearly hearing the chords and trying to hit them. All right, here's the next line. Okay, so this is over the F. Again, we're playing all minor pentatonic stuff here. All right, that's the first part of the solo. So then again, we're going to play the same chord progression and we'll play this line. second solo. So it begins with this. Again, this comes right out of a minor pentatonic. And I'm just using some rhythm here with these double notes. You'll notice that there's a couple of times I use double notes. I use a double note there. And I'm using a double note here. And again, and a third time, and then playing the eighth, back to the fifth, and then bending up on the eighth a whole step. And that bends me to this, not to the tenth fret, right? Which is an A. So remember, we're playing over this chord progression very similar to what we were doing before, right? A minor. C, G, and D, it's the same. So, uh, again, playing a lot of chord tones, ending on those. All right, and then we're, we're ba basically in this next position up here, instead of the regular box position. We're just playing this position. All right, so after this, So we play this. Again, ending on that chord tone right here. Now we're gonna play over the F, the G, and the A. This is clearly a chord tone of D, right? Because here's a D chord. So again, that A is a chord tone of D, just like before. Now we're gonna play the That's what we play over the F. Then over the G. So that's a little. This line, this slide has to be really fast. And now over the A. Again, we're just playing a lot of minor pentatonic. We'll start out with this bend, coming down to the C, and then we'll play this triplet lick. You gotta play that just a little bit faster. And that's it. 
All right, gang. Well, there you go. A Skinner style mini solo, key of E minor, keeping it pretty simple, pretty much rock and roll. Remember, in a later lesson, I'll show you a couple of different other ways that you can approach this solo to maybe make it even more fun to play. But this one's a blast. I love this progression. Hope you did too. If you liked it, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe, and we will see you on down the road.